Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. For today's video I'm going to be doing a sort of real-time cage clean of all four of my guinea pig cages right here behind me. So I'm probably mostly going to be doing a mix of like real-time and time-lapse just because if I did it like fully real-time cage clean i genuinely think that this, this video would be like two hours long because it normally takes me an hour to do the cages and then 30 minutes to an hour to clean up the floor and since i'll be talking to you all through quite a few things about the cage cleaning process it would end up being like actually two hours if i did real time so i'm going to do a mix of time lapse and real time and sort of talk you guys through some of the things i do when i'm cage clean and just the process in general so i'm going to be starting first with this top cage right here so this right here is my pile of like supplies to clean the cage so i've got u-haul uh, multiple fleeces which i'll get to why i have multiple fleeces in just a moment i've got bath mats under here and then also some of the hides that i will be using in the cage so i just sort of take everything that i need for the cage clean and pile it onto my desk chair right here because i do store all of my fleece and stuff in a separate room so i just get that from there what i need for the cage and then bring it in here so this is the cage that i'm going to be cleaning first and I wanna show you all something about it because I do something a little bit different. So first I'm just gonna take off all of the front grids here so I can actually reach back and access the cage. So what's special about this guinea pig cage is it actually houses Stardust. I don't know where she is, but she is my guinea pig with satin syndrome. And satin syndrome is a bone disease where the bones get very brittle and very weak. So what I've done for this cage is to make it as cushioned as possible because I want her to be able to walk around and have like a lot of cushion when she moves. So I have more than just the typical layer of fleece. So as you can see, I try to put, first of all, as many bath mats as possible in her cage. And then I have my main layer of fleece. Underneath that is my washable puppy pads, which is the absorbing layer. And underneath that, is more fleece and the purpose of this is to pr provide even more cushion. So this fleece at the bottom, I'm actually going to keep in the cage because I don't believe there was any way that it really got wet since it would have had to go through so many layers. And these puppy pads also have a waterproof backing. So when I clean this cage, I'm going to be putting back in these layers right here of fleece because they provide the cushion that she needs for her bones. So now it is time to get everyone up and out of here. So in the past, I used to leave this group of guinea pigs in the cage while I cleaned, but because I have to like worry about all this extra fleece on the bottom and like folding everything to make sure that it fits, it gets a little bit hard when they're in the cage. So I'm gonna put them in this Tupperware container just for a while I am cleaning. Put that in there. Hi Sage. And then whatever clean hay is not soiled in their litter box, I'm also gonna put in here for them. And then just grab them in here. And then Stardust is in this tunnel here. Right. And now I'm just gonna set them on the ground over here and then get to cleaning. And one more note before I start cleaning is that I actually do toy rotations with all of my toys every cage clean. So essentially all the toys that are currently in this cage will move to a different cage and then that cage's toys will move this cage this way every week my pigs get new toys even if they've seen them before they haven't seen them in at least a week so they feel a little bit newer and that way i can get more use out of my toys and keep them more engaged with them so i'm just gonna pick up all the toys that we have in this cage so i think this is everything right here i'll just put these oh <laughs> just kidding there's more i'll just put these in here for storage 
And this has some pellets in it, which they didn't quite get to getting out. So I'll keep that for them. And next up, I'm actually going to try and take out these bottom layers of fleece here so they don't get all the hay on them and I can put them back into the cage. And this is actually my cleanest group of guinea pigs and they can actually go two full weeks without needing a full cage clean. So at about like the one week point, I typically do full cage cleans every single week, but this group is so incredibly clean that I only have to do it once every two weeks. So at like the middle mark, I'll change the litter box and a lot of the top bath mats, but I won't change the bottom. So as you can see, like most of these are completely dry, despite the fact that they've been in the cage for a full two weeks. So I'm just very lucky that this top group is like super, super clean. I have my 50-50 water vinegar mixture here and I'm going to just spot clean anywhere that it looks like there is like pee on the chloroplast. <music> these which were like my cushion fleeces and then this week since I am going to be using U-Haul as my absorbable base which is a lot thinner than the washable pee pads because I want to make sure it's still equal amount of cushion I'm going to add a third layer of fleece to be like a cushion support. Even though I haven't finished setting up the cage or I have all the hides in or even the litter box, um, I do prefer them to just be in the cage over their little tiny box that they were in. So now I'm going to clean this igloo that they have. For some reason, they absolutely love this igloo. And so it's pretty dirty around the edges. So I'm just gonna spray this off with my vinegar solution.
page is pretty set up the way that I think I want it so I'm just gonna put all of the grids back on um, and then get to clean the litter box the toys in here that I added I took from one of my other cages so that way most of them are fairly new and then I am going to give them these dishes back just because I did recently clean them like less than a week ago before I put them in here so they haven't even been used for a full week so I'm going to put the dishes back in but typically I clean these like fully once a week um and if they get too dirty sometimes I just scatter feed instead of using a bowl so this right here is their litter box and I'm just going to dump the entire thing out I'm gonna spray it down. And honestly, I'm thinking about getting, or like making a new litter box for them soon because something about the Coraplast litter boxes, like it's formed two stains at these corners and I have tried like so much vinegar solution to try and get these stains out. I don't know if I need something stronger, but it's also like broken right here. Like I just think it's time for a new litter box pretty soon. So I will be getting a new one because this one's just sort of falling apart. And also I'm not really a huge fan of the blue color. It clashes with most of my other cage stuff. it is wiped down I'm going to fill it with my kiln dried aspen to move on to my bottom trio cage here which houses three females the issue with this cage is that I actually have to fully climb into the cage in order to clean it so these grids right here actually pop off just like that and then I literally crawl my entire body into the cage in order to clean it um pro no pro no now while that is not exactly like a pain for me to do like it's not great but it's not that awful to crawl into the cage it is a pain to film so i'm going to try my best to capture um as many angles as possible while i am crawling into this cage and cleaning it but i probably won't be doing much talking because it's pretty much the same process as up top except there's only 
one layer of fleece and then the mat. Um, there is no cushion because they don't need it. So I'm gonna be trying my best to film from the best angles that I can, but it's it's a little bit difficult. So um, just just a fair warning. <laughs> longer but now I'm going to move on to my two single boys so as you can see waffles over here right now he has care fresh bedding in his as his main base in his cage and the reason I've been using bedding for him is because he pees a ton which means that his bedding his fleece would get soaked every single day so I've been using the care fresh bedding but it is a lot more expensive to do it that way so I think actually what I'm going to do is in the back half of his cage i'm going to have the care fresh bedding in the front half i'm going to have a bath mat um i think that will work because the care fresh doesn't really get stuck to the fleece like aspen or other kinds of bedding does so i'm probably going to keep some of this bedding in the front here that hasn't been soiled and move it to the back and then trash all the stuff in the back if that makes sense and then rocket just goes on fleece because he's pretty neat so I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything to clean these two cages.
is the boys cages all clean. I'm hoping that this method of half bedding will really work for waffles. I haven't tried it like this before with the Carefresh. I've tried to do half and half with the Aspen bedding before, but the Aspen sticks to like literally everything like it sticks to the fleece a ton. So I'm hoping that with the Carefresh, it won't stick as much to this bath mat and this will work as sort of a method for him. The reason I don't want to put a litter box in his cage is because these cages are only eight square feet for each pig. I don't want to sort of take away from any of their running space and like force them to like move around a litter box when trying to do zoomies or, or like run. So that's why neither of them have a litter box. Waffles is very messy. So he has this half bedding situation. Rocket is cleaner. So he just has um, the LA guinea pig rescue. I don't know if you guys can see it. The LA guinea pig rescue hay rack as well as a small pile of hay in front of his rack that I refresh twice a day. So now that all of the cages are clean, I'm gonna take a moment and show you guys what the room looks like. So this is what we're working with, with the room right now. There are multiple piles, multiple trash bags. And then over here, this is all of the dirty fleece that I have folded up. So today is the last full cage clean that I will be doing before laundromat day. So I do wash all of my guinea pig fleece at the laundromat simply because my washer at home is super tiny and it takes forever to dry and it would just take hours upon hours to actually wash all of this guinea pig laundry in my own home. So once every three to four weeks, I actually go to the laundromat and like spend probably about four hours there washing everything. So before I clean cage cages again, it will be time to go to the laundromat, which means that I have a lot of dirty laundry to store in this room until that point. So I'm going to be bagging up all of, all of the dirty laundry and putting it underneath the boys cage over here, getting rid of these trash bags, uh, putting everything where it needs to go, bag bedding, and then also vacuuming up the floor. And then when all of that is done, we will finally be finished cleaning the room. So I have now finished everything, cleaning the whole room, everyone's cage, everything is clean. And we all know that this floor will probably be clean for about two hours until I have to give out evening hay and then there will be hay 
on the floor again. But for right now, it is clean and everyone's cage is looking good. Um, I will say these are not my favorite themes for the cages or like setups. But like I said, because this is the last week of cage cleans before I go to the laundry mat, I sort of had to like make do with what I happened to have clean. So here's the trio's cage up here. I also changed out their fleece forest. This was in definite need of a change. It had been here for quite some time. So got a new fresh one for them. Down here, everybody, there's Marshmallow. She's asleep over there. Pepper is in that one down there. And it's looking very nice, very pretty. These are some of their favorite hides that they have in there. They really love this camper from Animal Adventure Pods and also these super long tunnels. I think the shop for the long tunnels is Cute Critter Shop. They love to burrow in those as well. And then of course I have the boys over here. I'm not really sure what Rocket is up to with this tunnel. He keeps flipping it over, but each of them actually got a bunk bed this week. And as you can see, Waffles is in his bunk bed. And in this cage, I have this long fleece forest, which is from Fur Baby Fleece. I love this because I was able to have her only do six inch danglies. And that way it's not tracking up in the hay. On these ones over here, it's okay because it sort of dangles in front of the box. And then this one, there's no hay over there at all. But for this, their hay is kind of in the back area. So I didn't want them to dangle down and get as much pee on them. So I have them dangling right up here. He's very cozy right now. Hey, buddy. Hi. I got Rocket's cage with this crystal and skull pattern and his little purple bath mat and then his bunk bed. And then he's got back here what I was trying to tell you guys earlier. That's his hay rack. This is Rocket's sort of hay situation here. And I refill it twice a day. And then Waffles just gets a huge pile because he's... He's so much messier and he eats a lot of hay because I think probably because of his size, he's so large, he eats a ton of hay and everyone got new toys. So all the toys were rotated. Um, I have not up filled water bottles yet. I do still have to fill those when I feed veggies tonight. But besides that, the room is finished and all the cages are clean. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more cage cleaning videos, please let me know. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to see more of my content. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.